HGTV. I'm your host, Xavier Spinsby. And I'm Cody Wright. And today, we're going to be having all sorts of great fun, right? Yeah. So, to kick it off, I am personally doing the elementary interviews, even though I hate them so much. Anyway. They're great. They're great. They're, they're, great. Great. they're terrible. They're god-awful. <laughs> I also uh, decided to announce that track. That was a... Uh, you did amazing. Dumpster fire. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Take yeah, it away, Xavier. It All right, what's your name? Riley. All righty, Riley. How's your day going? Good. That's good to hear. What grade are you in? X. Uh, can you say that again? This thing decided to cut out. X. Six? All righty. Uh, what's your favorite subject in school so far? Hmm. I like art. That's a pretty good subject. That's my sister's favorite, at least. Um, so that being said, how did Easter go? You like it? Good. Got the candy? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's usually everybody's favorite parts of the candy. Uh, that being said, uh, what are your plans for the weekend? Mm, not much. Probably help around the farm. Nice, nice. Alrighty, and what is your favorite animal? A panda. They are pretty cool, aren't they? And what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, not sure yet. All right. I like animals. I with animals. That's always a good option. Well, thank you, Riley. And if that's everything, you are dismissed. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Well, hello there. Hi. What's your name? Olivia. Alrighty, Olivia, what grade are you in? Fifth. Nice, nice. How's the week going? Good. Awesome. So, how did Easter go? It was good. Did you get a lot of chocolate? Candy? Yeah. Nice. You love chocolate? What? Did you like chocolate? Yeah. yeah everyone likes chocolate, except for, like aliens or something. So, that being said, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be a doctor. Doctor? Alrighty. It's always a good choice. What makes you want to be a doctor? Just knowing that you can do surgery and that you can help people. Yeah, a lot of people just save money. That's actually a pretty good explanation. Well, thank you for that. And if you don't mind me asking, what is your favorite subject in school? Um, science. Science? Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. And last but not least, what is your favorite animal? Uh, probably a dog. Dog and cats. Alrighty. Well, uh, in that case, have a great day and thank you. Thank you. Well, hello there. What's your name? David. Hey, David, what grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth, nice, nice. So, how's your week going so far? Good. Good, you enjoying the rain we're getting? Well, yeah, because the recess is inside. Yeah, that's always a good perk, isn't it? You like it more inside? Yeah. Yeah, it's always some fun projects to do inside. So, that being said, what do you want to be when you grow up? A farmer. A farmer. What makes you want to be a farmer? To be like my dad. That's a good answer. I always wanted to be like my dad at some point. So, what is your favorite animal? A mountain lion. Mountain, yeah, there we go. Some creativity right there. Alrighty, so... Uh, my other question is, what is your favorite subject in school so far? P.E.? Atta boy. P.E. was my favorite when I was younger. So, uh, one last question then. Do you have anything exciting on the weekend? Not really. Not really? Actually, I lied about that one. Uh, in that case, my last question that I have is, uh, how did your Easter go? 
Good? Did you get a lot of chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. I got a good. bat. You got a what? A bat. Nice. You gonna play some I baseball? Mm-hmm. Atta boy. Alrighty, thank you for your time. Hmm? That's a thank you for your time, you may leave. <coughs> you have a good day. Yep. Welcome back to HGTV. I'm your host, once again, Xavier Spinsby. I'm here with Cassidy Johnson for the Senior Spotlight, redoing it for the 20th time, well, 21st time now. So, Cassidy, what's your favorite memory? State volleyball. Amazing. Yeah. Where are you going to be going? Lake area, in Watertown. And what for? Financial services. What do you want to be in life? A real estate, like have my own business and my own agency thing. A very smart move. Bright future. That being said, final question. What advice do you have for the younger children? School doesn't matter. <laughs> that, Outs- outside life is more important. That is the best advice you could ever give. Yep. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. Cassidy Johnson. Thank you. A <laughs> Great job, me. I'm the best at those. <sighs> no. You're not. Anyway, uh, what do you mean? I do better than you. I ask more questions. I got a longer run time. Yeah, okay. Easy. Okay. Even if the kids are. Sick. Anyways, Be- kicking over to the sports. We uh, we had two track meets. One of them was canceled, which was Ipswich. You and then we also had. You ever throw nails down the garbage disposal? No. No. <laughs> okay, just me. Gotcha. I'm gonna get back to sports now. Okay, uh, go for it, just buddy. Be quiet over there. I can't. Anyways, so uh, we had the boys claim the Sunshine Bible Academy title. The girls finished 11th, placed winners of Caitlin Schroeder in third in the 400 meter. Caitlin Schroeder placed third in long jump. Canary Hookman placed eighth in long jump. Seventh in the girls' 1600 meter relay. Seventh in the girls' 3200 meter relay. Uh, Josiah Weeby placed sixth in the 3200 meter run. And Silas placed seventh in the 3200 meter run. TJ Solomon placed third in the 110 hurdles and third in the 300 hurdles. Good. Yep. What? First in the boys' 400 meter relay, fifth in the boys' 800 meter relay, sixth in the boys' 3200 meter relay, second in the boys' medley relay. Jack plays first in high jump. Landon Puffer plays fourth in high jump. Jack plays second in long jump. Riley plays fifth in long jump. Brendan plays seventh in triple jump. Jacob Miklich plays second in shot put. Eric Solomon plays second in discus, and Jacob Miklich plays fifth in discus. It's a lot of stuff. Had a boys though. Yeah, You're doing good. God's work out there. And now we get to go over to uh, Ag for the Miller CDEs. Oh God, here we go. In Ag Business Management, the third place team of Danielle Knoll, eighth place, Ashley Massett, eleventh place, Cordell Conan, fourteenth place. Yeah, hey, I know those last two. Yeah, you do. They're in a class, buddy. Dude, and yeah, Jack that's right. Fifteenth <laughs> place. Agronomy, the fourth place team of Harley Nielsen in fourth place, Brendan Knoll, ninth place, Caleb Watson in fifteenth place, and Wetson of 24th place, Jackson 27th place, Jesse 31st place. Ag Mechanics, 10th place team of Elliot in 25th, Raymond in 31st, and Zach in 35th. Meet Evaluation and Technology, a first place team of Caden Bottom, Jed, or Caden Bottom in 1st, Jed in 3rd, Mason in 4th, and Carter in 9th. National Resources, 2nd place team of Caitlin in 4th, Landon in 8th, and Alex with Alex in 17th, and TJ in 23rd, Jacob in 24th. Nursery Landscape, a first place team of Yesenia, second place. You know her. And oh, yeah, that's my you. sister. Yeah. Jessica in third place, Cole fourth place, and Presley 13th place. And then Poultry, poultry Evaluation, a first place team of Briar in first place, Andy in second place, and Kyle in third place. So. Good job to all you guys. I bet you'd hate it if I screwed up this uh, scene and made you redo all that. Yes, I would. Especially because you sound like you're getting out of breath there. But fortunately, because our viewers don't have all the time in the world and I'm a very generous host, we'll be moving on to the calendar because that's my specialty. So, moving on. Oh, God. Is that really this week? Okay, well, folks, it's going to be a very bad announcement for everybody. Myself included. I usually have great days. So, starting off on Friday, school's in session. There's track at, mi- oh wait, this, that's right, we're forward in time. 
But uh, since we didn't get this previous weeks out, we're redoing it anyway. So if, if you did show up last week Friday, good on ya. If you did like some of us did and didn't show up, that was the better option. We were gone. So, moving on. We went to Shrek. Okay. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Saturday there was nothing. Sunday there was FFA State Convention, but I'm sure you guys already knew that. 12th or today there is an FFA State Convention school board meeting, which if you go to that, what are you doing here, life? Actually. Moving on. 13th, tomorrow, Tuesday, FFA Convention, there is elementary volleyball. Wait, we actually have elementary volleyball? Yes. Anyway, uh, it's at Hitchcock. We're fighting Woolsey. That's Westington Springs. <laughs> same thing. You're doing so good at this this week. Same thing, same thing. Same it's thing. a Monday. It's a Monday. You can tell. Same thing. Doesn't matter. Woolsey. Oh, what is that? Just again? keep going. Just Westington, Westington Springs. Springs. Okay. Just keep like going. Said, same no. thing. Just keep going. Sorry for those Woolsey viewers. But, uh... Like, post in the comments or like, call me and tell me there's a difference and like what the difference is. Yes, call him. If you need my phone number, just ask me. Like, uh, yeah, we asked for this piece of stuff. I'm sorry, Alex. So, Wednesday, nothing. And Thursday, the dreaded tax day. And also, there's a track at 12, so don't show up to school either, especially you seniors. It, it's like at yourself. the Smith. But yes. I didn't say that. Everybody's sick. It's it's <laughs> anyway. at the, the track meets at the Smith. He, he didn't say that. Uh, well, no one needs to know that part. They just need to know that you don't have to come to school. Friday, school's in session, but if you're like me and you don't care, you don't have to show up either. So, wonderful day, wonderful week. Hope you guys have one. This has been... Oh, wait, wait. We wait, haven't wait, wait, done the birthdays. That's right. <laughs> Forgot. Almost, almost got the birthdays. <laughs> Mondays. So, last week, which was the 8th, well, Boomsma Hudson, or Hudson Boomsma, he had his birthday, happy, well, late happy birthday. Brendan Noel, he had his birthday on the 9th. It's Noel. Noel. Then why is it, if you put a line through no and well, it comes out as Noel. It's just how it sounded. Well, I'm the... Al Alexander with, he had his birthday on the 9th as well. Uh, Olivia Fash or is it like fashion? Fashion. Fashing. Fashing. Okay, it's like fashion, but with a C H. Gotcha. So anyway, Jared's on. The, oh wait, that's upcoming. That's on the thirteenth, so that's tomorrow. And last but not least, we have uh, Luke Noel, and he's on the fifteenth. So happy birthdays all around. Have a great week. This has been HGTV with your boys. <laughs>